Welcome to part 2 of my Arduino tutorial about reading serial data from a computer. In part 1 I showed you how to send data to the Arduino using the built-in serial monitor. Now I will show you how to send data using Python. First open your text editor of choice. For me that will be Notepad++. And so that we get the code automatically color coded we need to save the file as a Python script before we start. So save as and I'm going to just name it tutorial dot py for python and now that that's done we can get on to coding first thing we need to do is import serial which is the serial library it's very similar to the arduino version and we need to import time so that we can do some delays and then import msvcrt which will allow us to get keyboard commands um, although that only works in Windows, so if you're doing this on another operating system, don't use it. First thing we need to do is print opening serial port, just to let us know what's going on. And then we're going to name our serial port Arduino. And It'll be on COM3, which is equal to 2, because COM1 would be 0. Speed is 9600 baud, just like in the Arduino. And timeout is equal to 1. It's important to put a timeout there, just because in case we send or receive data that we don't expect, or if it never receives data that it's expecting, we need it to timeout. Uh, one second is usually plenty, as we ex usually expect data immediately. Then we are going to sleep for two seconds. Just waiting for the initialization to happen. And then, so that we know that it's done, we are going to print initialize is complete. And then we're going to go into a infinite loop. So we just do that by doing wall one. And we set up our LED0 variable, which is currently equal to 0. And LED1 variable, which is also equal to 0. This just lets uh, the program know the current state of the LEDs. And then we want a command variable, which is going to be a string to send to the Arduino. What this says is that we want a string that reads L0, S, and then we want to replace the percent %S with the variable LED0. Percent %S means replace it as, put the variable in as a string. Then we want to add to command, and we want to add L1, S, percent %S. And we want to put in the LED1 variable. So essentially that reads LED1 is in state of the LED1 variable. And to tell the Arduino we're done sending commands, we send any character. I'm going to use the new line character just to make it unique. And then we send that to the Arduino. Then we want to sleep for half a second. So we just delay between commands. And then we want to send a new command. This time I'm just going to write it all out on one command instead of using multiple lines. And we want to send that command. And then we want to sleep for half a second. And then to cleanly quit the program, we're going to check for a keyboard key. So if 
There has been a hit on the keyboard. We want to store the key press as an ordinal value, uh, which means we want to store it as the ASC2 number of that character. And if it equals 113, which is a Q, we want to break, which just means exit the program. And so that we know that was done nicely, we just want to print. Sorry to see. Here we go. And just before we save the script, we just want to take a quick look over it and make sure that we wrote everything properly. Uh, first error I noticed I made is this needs to be a 1 so that we get alternating flashing lights. And another error I noticed is I forgot to put an equal sign here to assign the variable. So after that's done, we save it and open up your command prompt. In my case, I'm going to use the Windows PowerShell. Change to the directory where you save the script. For me that's here and then run python and tutorial.py and then once it's initialized you should see the lights flashing back and forth to quit just hit the q key that completes this tutorial i will post more examples on my blog which you can find the link to in the description below and thanks for watching